hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see all about q like what is q and what are the operations of q and how we can implement q using array so let's see about q so q you can take basic example of like cinema hall q whenever a first person enter he get the ticket and then he get out right so and, and it keep on going on so the q works on concept of fifo first in and first out whoever ent enter first it gets first out so now uh, you can say if this is a queue so basically you are uh, enqueuing so the first operation is enqueuing means inserting element in a queue so when you insert element in a queue so you have a you have a fixed size of queue in array right so you can say like if i have the maximum size 5 it means you can store maximum 5 element in a queue so what you will do we will take two variables rear and front so front will always keep the status of the front element and rear will uh, keep the status of the back which is the last element which we have inserted so enqueuing means to insert element and dq means to remove the element so we'll always remove the element from front right so what you will do whenever we will remove the element will increase front by one because at the starting front will be at zero because we have not removed any element right just remember that front is always for removing the element so front will always be at the starting okay so when we are removing so we'll increase front by one in the index of front by one right and whenever we are inserting so we'll will increase the index of rear at by one because at the starting rear will be at minus one so when we will improve when we will insert the element will increase the rear and then we will insert the element right and whenever we are inserting we will check that whether this linked list uh, sorry whether this queue is full or not and if queue is full so we will give the status that queue is full remove some element so actually uh, that is the uh, that is you can say some some problem with the array implementation because the array size is fixed right array is not dynamic it's static so whenever we are making q size so we'll say okay the maximum size is 5 and we cannot store more than 5 element right so this is the foundation with array uh, so we need to handle this condition that whenever we are inserting we we'll need to check that if q is full then don't insert any element similarly uh, whenever we'll remove element so we'll check the condition that whether this q is empty or not and if it is empty then obviously we can't remove any element so what operations we'll have first we'll we'll have the first operation which is inserting operation where we are inserting element second we'll remove the element which is removing the element then we'll say size so like what is the current size of q so we'll uh, we'll we'll take a variable size and whenever we are inserting we'll increase the size variable and whenever we are removing we'll decrease the size variable so whenever whenever someone asks what is the size so we'll say get size and get size will return the size and now get front element so some suppose we'll will so we'll write a function of returning the front variable where we'll always return the front element like what is the front element right now okay and similarly we'll have the rear element like get rear element right now okay so uh, you have got all the concept right what operations we'll use how we'll use and now let's see so what i have done i have created a q array implementation class in java and uh, this is my main function and i have used a q class where i will put all the functions of q which i will use here right so uh, this is my q class this is my class q and here first of all i will have the maximum size of q is 5 right and now i i have kept i have kept front as 0 and rear it minus one and size is zero because it's starting size is zero and then i have created an array where maximum length is maximum which is five right 
सो दैट इज द नोटेशन ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन एरे इंट ए कुछ न्यू इंट मैक्सिमम नाउ विल नाउ वी आर चेकिंग दैट इज फुल दैट वेदर द क्यू इज फुल और नॉट सो फॉर दैट आई हैव आई हैव रिटर्न ए फंक्शन इज फुल एंड आई एम चेकिंग इफ साइज इज कुछ टू कुछ टू मैक्सिमम देन रिटर्न टू एल्स रिटर्न फॉल्स राइट एंड दिस इज माई इंसर्टिंग फंक्शन so whenever i am inserting i am checking first of all that if my queue is full or not if my queue is full then we will say queue is full remove some element and then simply return that's it now if queue is not full so we are saying first of all increase the rear so like at the starting rear will be at minus 1 right so first of all we are saying rear plus 1 so that will be zero and then remainder maximum now you will say why remainder why remainder to maximum because the problem is that whenever queue is full so rear will be at the end right so now when we will remove the element so we'll always remove from the front right it means the zeroth index which is now free because front will be at 1 so zero index which, which is free so we want to use the use the uh, the capability of this one because this is free index now and we can insert our element here so that is why we are doing that when rear will be at the end and when we are inserting so we'll say rear plus 1 which will be 6 uh, sorry 5 and because at the end it will be 4 so 4 plus 1 5 and 5 remainder maximum 0 so now rear will be 0 right so we'll keep on keep on rotating the rear and front in the circular manner so that we can use the use in the limiting in in the limited length right so we'll we'll see from the example let's just keep keep this in mind that this is for this use right so now as soon as we are inserting we are improving the size by 1 and then we are and then we are saying a rear equals to value right so this is for the inserting that first check that if size is full simply give the message and return else store the variable in rear and that's it and increase the size now the remove so similarly in the remove first we'll check that whether this queue is empty or not so empty is same if your size is 0 it is true else it is false so we'll say if q is empty then the thing to remove and return minus 12 well. now similarly whenever we will whenever we are uh, removing any element so we are saying that first of all like uh, this is your front and now after removing the element say front plus 1 so any yani increase the element increase this front from here to here because i have removed this one so now front is here right so this is is empty and remove and now you can simply give get size which is return size and get front so get front is a function which which will give me the front element so this is very basic first i will check that my queue should not be empty and if it is not empty then simply return a front similarly with rear that if my queue is not empty so simply return a rear right so now let's see that uh, how this is working so let's put a debug point and let's check here so first of all it will go here so at at the starting it, it will check that whether the it is full or not so size is 0 and maximum is 5 so it is not full so now it will go and rear is minus 1 so it will say rear minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 so 0 remainder 5 is 5 oh sorry 0 so it will say zero and it will increase the size and it will put a zero equals to value so now if you check so now at the zeroth index it has an entered 12 right so now um, let's see second element so again it will check that whether this is full so q is not full so now it will improve rear so now rear will be at 1 it means and size is plus 1 and now it will store at first index so now it, you can see 12 and 2 right similarly it will store 7 27 and 18 because whenever we are inserting we are inserting at the index rear right and front is still the same 
now we will we are inserting 80 so it will go here it will check that size is 5 and maximum is also 5 it means q is full so it will say q is full remove sub element and it won't insert anything right so now let's say if at this position you want to check that what is the size so you can say get size right and uh, so you can say size here so if you run the function so it will say sizes because this was for the 80 and this will say size is 5 now let's see if you want to check that what is front element so a dot get front so if you run the function so it will say front is 12 which is right now get rear right so let's put a debug point here and let's see that how this these are working so let's say if i go here in get size it will it is simply returning me the size right so size is 5 that is why it is returning me 5 now get front so first it is checking that whether this is empty or not so empty means if the size is 0 is not so size is not 0 it means it will return a front which is the front element which is 12 and rear again it will check whether the size is empty or not so it's not empty it means it will return rear which is the last one so it will return 18 right so now let's say if i remove element now so i will say removed element and here i will say remove okay so now let's put a debug point here because we are removing element so first it will check that whether the size is empty or not whether q is empty or not so q is not empty it means it will go here now it will check what is the front element so front is zero that's what we want to remove and when we are removing so we'll decrease the size by one and we'll return a front so which is 12 okay, right so my first element was 12 so it is removing 12 right and now at this point if you check again this so if you run this so now you can see that it has been changed and that uh, the removed element was 12 right so now size is 4 front has become 2 and rear is same because rear is at always at the end right so this is you can this is how you can say we have removed now let's see now if you want to add 80 right so let's put a debug point here now let's check so now it will check that whether size is full or not so it will say size is 4 it means it is not full means you can insert so now you can see that rear is 4 right and 4 plus 1 5 so 5 remainder 5 is 0 so that is the beauty of this one because if we if we had not done this the remainder maximum it means it would have gone to 5 and the 5 would have been the area out of bound exception but if you are doing this one so it is insert so now it has the value is 0 and so we can insert the value at 0th index because we have removed the element so now front is at 1 so rear can be at 0 right and we'll improve the size by 1 so now again if you if you check so you will see that all things are working fine so if you done this so you can see here now size is again 5 front is 2 because front was 2 because we have removed the element 12 and and rear rear is still 80 right so guys uh, this is how we have seen 
that what is q so this was q and we have checked that how we can insert the element how we can remove the element and how we can get the size how we can get the front element how we can get the rear element and this is how we insert it so this was the qr implementation class this was the q class where first of all i uh, i declared all the variables then i created the function is full then i created the function insert right i created the function insert then i checked whether this uh, empty or not then i written the function of remove this is how we can remove and this is how we can get size get front and get rear right so this is how we have seen how to implement q using array in java and uh, and guys if you have any question related to it then please write it in comment and uh, if you have got your answer if you have understood what is q then please like the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you